What can we do to soften or fully get rid of the annoying beeping of the DJI remote? Let's see! Hi guys, it's Oli here, I hope you are having a great day! In today's video I'm going to show you what can be done about this mini controller, mini 2 controller, to get rid of that annoying beeping. Because I think it is just too loud, I don't like it. So this controller is held together by four screws, two are under this uh, rubber pads, which are on the top of the controller, as you can see. These are rather hard to remove, they are quite difficult. They're very tight in there, the space is very little. Anyways, so I removed those and I removed the two uh, screws on the bottom. Those were easy. And then start to pry open this, this controller. Now, this is quite a difficult task, I must say. I use flathead screwdrivers, I know I should use... Uh, plastic prying tools but I don't have any which is strong enough for this task so I just went with the strong metal it's a it's a tight fit this controller it's very well made it's so strong it's uh, it's hard to take it apart but I managed without breaking anything but as you can see that it's easy to to make marks chip marks on the plastic mm, so I think this is just something we have to live with at least i am willing to live with it because uh, this is the this is the mother's life i think and i don't know why else would someone take apart these controllers anyway so when the two shells are are open it has to be it has to be a gentle way to take it apart because of the connectors connecting the the joysticks so don't yank it apart basically that's what i want to say but after disconnecting the joy joystick connectors, it is basically two parts. It's easy. And there is the buzzer. This is what makes that horrible sound. So I'm gonna have to do something about it. But uh, for the future, watch this whole video because you may not even need to take apart more this controller than it is because there is a very easy solution how this uh, loudness of the buzzer can be reused easily without taking it apart but i wanted to do other mods also so i just went ahead and took it apart so you see i removed some silicone from these connectors these are the battery connectors actually there are two batteries one on each side it's a very good design i think it also balances the weight and it's easy to change the battery cells later on or even change to bigger cells so then I removed that, uh, that's the record connector and this one was the gimbal uh, pot. There are a few screws, two screws holding on one uh, ribbon cable there and there's this bracket, don't lose it. And then this one is just uh, put under pry up pop type uh, connector. This plastic lid is housing the antenna cables. I remove it because I didn't want to disconnect the, these, um, these coaxial cables or whatever because those are two small connectors and I had some bad experience before with them. So I just flip over the, the PCB and then I have access to, the, to these uh, solder pads where the buzzer is being soldered in. I put some leaded solder on it because it has better melting characteristics to remove it and then the buzzer is completely removed. So this uh, uh, remote is now completely quiet. So this could be one way to just uh, finish the cycle here and then say, okay, I don't want any sound, any, any warnings, but I disagree with that. Warning is necessary, I just don't want it to be so loud. So anyway, I put back the motherboard and uh, here, Nice click. I just reconnect all the all the connectors, put up the brackets, blah blah blah. So as you see now, I have access to those uh, solder pads also for the buzzer. So I do whatever I want with it. And there is a mark on the PCB on the left side, uh, positive, and also there's a mark on the top of the buzzer, positive. So it's uh, it's uh, basically impossible to screw it up. 
and I'm going to test different configurations uh, to adjust for the proper uh, volume which I want. So I just soldered two wires on the buzzer and I'm just going to solder it back to have a baseline how light, loud it is. And this beeping is because the joysticks are not connected. But that was pretty loud, right? So here is the easiest mode. Put a little bit of tape. much quieter so if you decide to go on with this tape version then you don't need to take out the motherboard just put the tape on and uh, be done with it but now I took off the tape and put on a 1k resistor And it is basically like it was with the tape, just this will not come off of the buzzer even uh, in a few months. And here is an LED. So whenever the buzzer is active, the LED is active as well. And this is what I wanted to have as well. To have a visual response also of the of the alarms so after clearing up the pcb of all the stuff i started to solder on the 1k resistor to the buzzer's positive uh, terminal it doesn't matter actually which terminal i just chose the positive so i have the two wires and in the positive line basically there is a 1k resistor that's all it's not uh, too complicated i use uv resin to just make this whole part a little bit uh, more sturdy let the resin set and then I tape it around with some electrical tape just so that uh, there will be no any shorts or whatever contact problems because I'm planning to put it in there just beside the battery and this is a double-sided foam tape which I which I covered it with because I don't want it to flap around inside the controller I don't want anything to rattle basically and then I solder it back in place. So this is with the 1K resistor. So that part uh, is actually done. Now let's see how it sounds inside. This I can totally live with. So I want some, some feedback, but I didn't want it that loud. For the LED, I decided to put it on the front there in the middle. I'm using the soldering iron to mark so that the drill bit doesn't wiggle around. And I just drilled a 2.5 millimeter hole for the 3 millimeter LED. I intend to squeeze it in anyways because uh, I noticed that it is possible. And I'm using uh, this red LED, squeeze it in there. I think it's fine. The good old super glue. And when it fi it's fixed in, I put back the, this uh, heat sink with the four screws because now I have uh, enough space anyway to solder there. And for the LED, I used the 220 ohm resistor, heat shrinked it, put on the other wire, and then some uh, UV resin as well, again. And, of course, let it set with the UV lamp. All right, so when I'm... Uh, this is the way how I'm planning to solder it on. So that when I open later on the controller, it can be just uh, flipped open like, uh, like a book, basically. And it's working. So the noise is not too loud anymore and there is visual feedback also that the remote star wants to tell me something because sometimes I just fly this drone without uh, without uh, the, the phone actually, just with the controller for testing things. 
and then there is the screw beside the USB port I could only put back one because the other one I completely stripped uh, when I took it out that was very tight but uh, honestly it's it just that motherboard is being held on so I put back the joystick connectors and then organize this cable in this fashion so it goes there and the top part has to go behind that little lid and then it's fine and then just clip it back together and as always it is easier to clip it back on than it was to take apart of course and then we have the screws but honestly without the screws this controller would never come apart anyways That's pretty good. But anyways, I put back the screws, all four of them. And then this uh, controller is basically done. So now I just want to throw this information to you guys that while the controller was open, I had some ideas how to give joysticks commands with the, with the microcontroller. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when it is going to be done. That's a little bit bigger project, but I'm working on it. That could end up us having some additional uh, quick shots maybe for the drone let's see it's quite exciting but anyways guys if you have anything to say or if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section watch my other videos if you are interested in this subject and uh, please don't forget to subscribe it really helps out a lot thanks for watching bye guys